Hello. Um, welcome. I just want to start off by saying uh, that I pulled an all-nighter last night. I did not sleep at all for no reason particular other than I just couldn't. So this will be fun. Like a little about what day it is, like even more so than before. Um, so today I am taking these ugly pants that have part of the one leg cut off for a previous video uh, and I'm gonna turn them into something hopefully that is wearable. Probably not, but hopefully. So what I want to do is make these into like shorts um, and what I would like to attempt is to make like a paper bag waist situation. Um, I will insert the, my little, little picture that I got for inspiration right here. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so yeah, this is what we have to work with. Part of the pant leg is gone because it went to making a tie from a cat. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's pretty weird. Then I have a pencil and I'm marking off how short I want the shorts. In these next clips, I'm eyeballing how short I want the shorts and just cutting them because I couldn't find the pencil mark. So I'm just cutting both legs and lining them up as best as I can. Then I'm taking a seam ripper and I'm ripping the seam, one seam, of the pant leg that I cut off. From that panel, I am cutting three pieces of fabric that are four inches by 18 inches. These are going to be used to make that uh, paper bag type waist situation. Next, I took out my sewing machine. Um, I don't get along with my sewing machine. I have had it for like 10 years and I don't know how to use it. Um, so yeah. Spoiler alert, it did not go well. Um, so, but what you see here is I'm taking one of those panels and I am lining it up to the shorts. Then I am, well right now I'm just lining it up to the shorts, I guess. I'm lining it up with the very back part. Then I am going to stretch the elastic while I hold that uh, piece to the middle of the elastic and sew it down so that some of it's sticking up. Uh, by stretching the elastic while I sew, that'll create the ruffly paper bag waist situation. And then after doing that for a while, I realized I realized that I made a mistake. And then I tried to fix it. Oh. All right, so it's going actually surprisingly uh, well. However, the problem is I was stupid and I should have sewed these panels together like ahead of time like before I started sewing it all to the pants. But I didn't. So after that, I took apart what I did, sewed those panels together, and then started over. Round two. Yeah, then my needle broke. So after that, I learned how to replace a needle and then I started over. Well, I didn't start over, but I just picked up where I left off. What happened? <sighs> yeah, I broke another needle. 
Okay, so not only did I break another needle, but I don't know where the little piece went. So I'm, I'm thinking I just shouldn't use the sewing machine because I don't know, what if it's somewhere bad and then my sewing machine explodes? And that wouldn't be great. So then as you can see here, I'm sewing by hand. I'm holding the elastic with my foot while I stretch it with my other hand and sew with my other hand. Okay, so um, that wasn't as tedious as I thought it was gonna be, though I do have a major cramp in my leg. So, yeah. Um, this is what the waist looks like now which is pretty cool. Next, I folded up the bottom of the pants to make a hem, and then I just kind of hemmed it with sort of like a weird stitch, and I also binge watched Cheers on Netflix. Yeah, so there's the hem. Um, it's not the prettiest, but you can kind of barely see it unless you get really close. So, whatever. Uh, and then I am just cutting off the extra fabric here. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. So there's the finished product, and if you think about where we came from on the left, Really, they're a lot better, even though they're not the most flattering things that I own. So, yeah, all in all, pretty okay. Yeah, so that was probably one of the most frustrating uh, projects I've ever done. But, thanks so much for joining me on this journey. If you are looking for some more of uh, this kind of content, uh, please uh, like and subscribe for more finger guns. And yeah, if you have a project that you want me to do next, let me know in the comments or whatever. Yeah, and I'll give it a shot. But please don't make me use my sewing machine again, because I won't. All right, goodbye.